Well, let's put some new parts on this old tractor. Okay guys, now I wouldn't have to do this, but since I'm going to go ahead and check the, uh, the blades, I'm going to go ahead and pull this mower deck off. Now, it's pretty simple. There's a pin right there. See a little pin sticking up there? And I got a couple back in here. There's a pin up under. I know you can't see it. Anyway, there's a pin up under there. And there's a pin right up in there. And there's a couple on the other side. I'm going to go ahead and yank them off. Them pins off. And I'm going to pull this deck out of here. See, there's another pin there. Another one up in there. There's only one on the front. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull them out. Then we'll get this out of here. Might help if I take the belt off, huh? Alright. Now. Maybe. There's, there's the pulleys we gotta change. That one and that one. And we're also, it's all chewed up. We're also gonna put a new, a uh, new belt on it. So, I don't know how well I can get you guys up in here, but gas tank. what I'm gonna do Oops, sorry I'm gonna take that bolt out or that nut off and that where you at okay that nut off and that nut off and I can drop these down now this may have on top it may be a bolt so you may have to get a no that's welded and that's welded all right, let me get some tools, and we're going to take him off of there. All right, guys, I'm going to pull this nut off and this nut off. All right, I should be using a deep well. They're 15 inch, or 15 inch, 15 millimeter. Okay, I should be using a deep well, but that was already on my gun so that one not too bad it's uh it could probably be run again but I'm just gonna save it for a backup because you never know when these things will seize up as you can tell when that one did all right and don't don't lose these nuts these nuts as you can see they've got a flared end on them that acts like a washer and see that little plastic piece there? It's a lock nut. It goes on there and makes it tight so it doesn't come off. So don't lose them. There we go. See that? Yep. She's shot. Belt shot. Alright, so what we're going to have to do now is we got to go up in here. I'm going to get you up in here. We got to take that belt off. Or take the belt off. Where you at here? I don't have a screen. 
we got to get that belt off of there. Now these are belt keepers. They keep the belt from coming off. There's metal things right there. So we got to get up in there. We got to get this belt off. I forgot what's holding that. Okay, I see a couple bolts. All right, there's a bolt there. Can you see? Right there's one. And you know, right across from it on the other side, there's one right there. So we're going to take those off next so we can drop a plate down so we can get our belt off. So let's get you flipped around here. I know you're not going to be able to see much here, but... I don't know. We'll see. Are those 15? Yeah, those are 15s as well. Let me get a let me get a extension. All right. Let me take this one off first since I'm on this side. Okay. There's one. That's what the bolt looks like for it. Two. Now, see the plate coming down? Alright. Alright, now we should be able to make this belt come down out of there and pull it back up over top of that fan. I was really... Guys, there's no way I can get in here to do this without getting in your way but right back in here damn it see anyway right back in here I know you can't see it it's like it looks like a bolt when I get it off of here I'll show it to you but that's got to come out all that does is go up there and keep that belt on it's a 15 millimeter I'm sorry you can't see much but it goes right in top in top of the transmission or transaxle as some people like to call them I think that's the technical term would be transaxle because the axle kind of kind of it, it doesn't kind of it does come right out of the transmission but it is a trans but you do have a transmission and you have axles so you know you don't call a front wheel drive car you don't call the transmission a transaxle so why do you do this you follow me because it comes out too I'm recording this is a ratcheting wrench but it won't fit over top because of the pulley so I gotta do this let's hurry it up Alright guys, this is what that looks like. It goes down in like this. Do not lose this. I mean, you could use a bolt, but it's not recommended and I wouldn't recommend it. Don't run it without them either because your belts will always fly off. So don't lose that. I'll put that up there with the other ones. Whoops. Now we can slide that belt right off of there. I'll show you what we're going to do up here on the front. We've got some clutch wires here we've got to deal with. Now they just plug on. I can't show you because there's no way I can get up in the top. But once you put your hand up there, you'll feel a little clip. And you lift up on that clip. It's just the plug. You lift up on that clip and it'll pop partial of the way out. And then you can just pull it the rest of the way out. That's your electronic clutch. And that's off of there. Now, let's pull this belt out some. I get that bolt out there might be a 10 millimeter now remember guys I don't know if you can see that but it goes in a notch right there on your clutch keeps your clutch from turning okay 
So what you're going to want to do, make sure you get that back down in there when you take this off. Okay? So let's get that bolt out of there. Looks like a 10 millimeter, I think. See, there's that notch, which it's bent. Can you see that? It's bent. It ain't supposed to be like that. So we'll have to straighten that out, and hopefully it won't break. If it breaks, I'll have to weld it. Okay? So now we can get the belt off, and it'll just slide out. Should just slide right out of there. Let's see what we got going on here. Where are you at? Now, I forgot another thing, guys. Jesus. I have to... Wow, there's a lot of play there. I gotta pull the steering column up out. No biggie. Okay, guys. What I did was I pulled that nut off the bottom of here. Okay? This didn't want to drop down. This gear did not want to drop down. So what I had to do... Let me get up, start it back up here. So what I had to do, I had to put the nut back on there just till the threads went to the edge of the nut. Right? Damn it, I'm sorry about the camera work. But you get the idea, I hope. Just till the threads, they didn't come through. And I had to tap on that nut because you can't heat this gear. Because this is plastic, this piece right up here is plastic, right there. So you don't want to heat that gear. And then all you got to do is lift this, lift your steering column up a little bit. See, that's a plastic gear that just fell out. Lift this steering column up just enough to slide the belt under it. And then your belt will come off and there's the belt okay so I'm gonna grease all this stuff up before see that's plastic so you cannot heat that gear though it is metal now if you do make sure you have you have that uh that a uh, new plastic this new uh, uh, plastic piece here to put back in or else you're gonna get a lot of wobble in your steering wheel so I'm gonna grease all this back up before I put it back together and as you can see the belt the belt is roached okay so we got everything off of here now let's compare our old parts with the new parts okay guys here's the belt this is the old one of course hopefully you can see that where that's all screwed up right there now Sometimes on the back of these belts, if your belt's not worn too bad, you, you'll have a number on it. This one's worn. And I'll show you what it'll look like. It'll look like that. Now, if you hold these up together, and your old one seems just a tad bit longer, don't be alarmed, because remember... It's going to stretch a little, so that's the right belt. Match your pulleys up. There's the little pulleys. Match them up, they look good. Match this one up. Look good, make sure they're the right height, the right diameter in here. Now as you can see, see how nice that is? Hopefully you can see. See how nice and pretty that is? Now, look at this one. See that? So, something's got jammed up in there apparently. Probably a stick or something. You gotta be careful with that kind of stuff. But some things you can't, you can't help it. So, we know we got the right parts. Let's get this thing greased up under here. And we'll get it put back together. I need to tell you guys something. That, that little plate, that bar we took off right there that hooks on to your, uh, your clutch right there. It does not have to be straightened. It's supposed to be bent, so don't straighten it. I didn't. I caught it in time. So, 
I'm I need to get this put back on. We'll do that here in a minute. But first, let's get these pulleys on here. All right. One's gonna go there. One's gonna go back there, and I'll show you how they go on. Okay. Okay, I think you guys can see that. So the little one is going to go back here. It's going to go up in there. And the big one's going to go here. So, let's get these started on here. Make sure you've got your brake set too. That helps loosen that belt as well. So, the big one, the big pulley goes towards the front of the tractor. And it rubs on the back side of the belt. The little pulley goes towards the back of the tractor and it runs in the V belt. Okay? So let's go ahead and get these put back on here. And then I want to tell you something else too about the back. Now, I was having trouble getting you guys in there to see me take that long bolt out of the back. Um, but I'll tell you something about that. That's all it takes. It don't have to be super duper tight. Now back here in the back, where that one bolt goes, that long one, I've got it right here. Let me put a little dab of grease on them threads. Shit. Oh yeah, YouTube is easy. I hate when people say that. You can't get to it from this way. So what I did when I took it out, same way as when I put it back in, you can get your fingers up in here and you'll feel that hole where it's got to go down in at. And then you can start it from the back, from behind the transmission. As soon as I can feel where that hole is, unless your hands are small enough, you might be able to start it from up here, but I didn't want to be in your guys' way. Yeah, you can you can start it here, just like that. But I went up through the back like this and took it out, so that's the way I'm gonna put it in. So I'm gonna reach my hand up under there, and I'm just gonna screw that in just like that. Now you will have to, unless you got a stubby wrench, which I've got some in there, but I didn't bring one out. If you got a short wrench, then you can then you can tighten it from the back. It might be easier for you and quicker. But I didn't bring one out. I just happened to have this handy. And just tighten it up. Again, it don't have to be, you know, like you're tightening head bolts on a 454 Chevy with a 672 blower you know you just get it on there and snug it up and then that's and your belt's pretty much complete except for putting that front plate on and that's just them two 15 millimeter bolts so remember that piece that holds the clutch in that holds the clutch in place do not straighten it I got to looking at it and it didn't look like it was a damage bin. So, and then I remembered, I've done a few of these, and I think the first one I ever did, I got to thinking about that. This was, this is going back when these things were new. <laughs> uh, you know, electronic clutches was like, wow, I got electronic clutch. Well, back then, I, um, I remember I straightened one and it wouldn't fit. So then I was like, well, I better tell you guys, don't straighten that. But I did grease everything up and needs greased. Whatever you do, don't get any grease on the belt, of course. Try to keep your grease. If you do, just, you know, get something, wipe it off. And there you go. That's all you got to do to tighten that. So this is going to go back up in here like this. Now, if you can get your hand around that clutch and start them bolts, that's fine. If not, just use your uh, use your extension. Yeah. 
There we go. All right, now we're in there. And it's going all the way up in. If you can, always, when you start your boats, finger tight, run them up as far as you can run them with your fingers. Always do that. That way you know it's in there good and tight, good and solid. And you don't have to worry about stripping anything out. Now before I forget, I'm going to plug my clutch back in. I'd like to show you that, but it's... Uh, I don't know if you can see this this cable. That's what it looks like. There's only one way it'll go on. You can't mess it up. There's no way you can get put it back backwards or upside down. It's, it can only go one way. And there, that's plugged in. Now, let's get these two bolts tightening our belts on and we'll give it a shot. My God, it's really hot out here, guys. Snug them up again. I'm not tightening heads on a race car, so All right. belt's done. I'm sorry about the bad camera work, guys, but it's all I can do. So the belt's on now. Let's see. If it's any quieter, I should have started up for you guys. Oh, that's quiet. Woo, nice. All right. We're good to go. That's that. Now next, we get to do this. We get to clean all this out. I know I dropped a washer. There's one right there. I think I dropped another one. I'm not sure. But all this stuff's got to be blown out. And uh, maybe I didn't. I got another washer anyway. But let's flip this up here. Underneath doesn't look too bad. Now it does have one of them, one of these sprayers on it, right there that you hook up your garden hose. You turn your water on, and it sprays water in here, and you turn your blades on, and it cleans this out. It really does help. They're not as bad as I thought they were, but this one's kind of, kind of, boom, like that, and it shouldn't be. So that one, so that one. This one's not real bad, so I don't know. I might just put another set of blades on it here in the future, but right now we're going to go ahead and sharpen these up. But I'm going to get this blown off first, and I hear some thunder. It's starting to look nasty out, so this may be a tomorrow job. I don't know. Uh, I said I know that the camera work was kind of bad, but hopefully you'll get the idea. You can do this yourself. Uh, let me give you some part numbers. Okay, the big pulley, which is the one we replaced, part number through John Deere is G620287. G620287. The little one, this one that I'm going to keep, I'll clean it up and keep it. It is GX. 20286 GX 20286 the replacement part I bought for this is 504-00291 uh, it replaces G620006 that's a sure fit again 504-00291 
and the original belt, the original equipment, OEM belt and original original equipment manufacturer is uh, would be G six two zero 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 six two zero 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 six. Let me give you a shot of that. You can pause it if you want, and there you go. All right, let me get this blown off, and we're going to see what the weather is going to do. Because it looks like up here it's looking pretty dark. Alexa told me it was going to rain. So let me get this blown off, and I'll get back with you. Now remember which way these come off so you don't put them on backwards. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my washer and my nuts back on. <laughs> the retaining nuts back on. So that way they do not get lost if I get rained out and I have to continue later. They won't get lost. That's a special nut or a special washer. It caves out this way. That way, when you put pressure on it, it's actually a lock washer, but it's a different kind of lock washer. All right. Now, I've never sharpened these, but you can see that indentation. That's not supposed to be like that, guys. It's supposed to be straight across. So. If I get them straight, I'm going to be taking a lot of metal off. So I'm probably just going to sharpen them the way they are, just like that. Now, if you got to replace these, the part number is. Is it the part number? I don't know, but there's a number on it PAH5457. And there's one below it 11596. So I'm guessing that's part number. You can probably get something from that. I don't know if it's picking it up. I don't have my glasses on. Okay, here comes the rain. Let's get these inside. Okay, guys. I don't know if you can see this, but you probably can. Okay, so we got the tractor done. All we need to do is sharpen the blades grease the deck up there's grease fittings on on the uh, I put those uh, the spindles in it all three of them brand new so I put I got the grease the greasable kind so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sharpen them blades they're just too bad um, you know like you got one worn more than the other I'll never be able to get them straight and that's taking off a lot of steel and those being not that old those spindles I don't want I don't want it to be out of balance you know wobbling that you can't see or feel but that's what a bent blade one of them does have a slight bend in it they're hard to straighten will cause them bearings to go out them spindles to go out on you the bearings and the spindles bushings um, so I'm just gonna get new blades they were cheap I'm going to go ahead and get new blades for it. I'm just going to go ahead and run them ones now. I know which ones came off of where. So I can put them back the way they were. And then I will, uh, damn it. I've got something in my eye. Then, then, uh, that way I can still mow with it until the new blades come in. So, and then I'll have to pull the deck off again put the blades on. I know you don't have to, but I do. It's easier to work on it like that than it is laying up underneath the damn thing so anyway i hope that helped you guys uh, remember just uh pay attention on what you take off where the bolts come out of and everything like that and you'll be fine so hopefully this helps somebody so i'm going to call it here this rain set in for a while so guys thanks for watching remember 
stay tuned. I got parts coming. They should be here tomorrow for the scooter. And we'll uh, we'll do it tomorrow. Uh, if rain quits, I'm just going to go ahead and put the blades back on, put the deck back on the tractor. But if not, I'll do that in the morning while it's still cool. So, all right, guys. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget Friday, 9 o'clock Q&A, live stream. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.